the last day of five weeks that we have been looking at the first nine chapters of the book of Proverbs, we are going to end with just uh, six short verses. These are a summary of folly. The first part of this chapter was a summary of wisdom. Remember, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is the beginning of insight. That's what we are called to do. On the other hand, this is a summary of folly or the adulterous woman, wickedness, evil, even the evil one. Let's begin. Um, actually, we're going to read all of these six verses. The woman folly is loud. She is seductive and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house. She takes a seat on the highest places in town, calling to those who pass by, who are going straight on their way. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. And to him who lacks sense, she says, stolen water is sweet and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he does not know that the dead are there that her guests are in the depths of Sheol. Folly leads to death. Folly, like the Lord, is like wisdom, is always calling to us, always trying to lead us to her, away from wisdom and to folly. Notice she says simple ones, um, those who lack sense, those who who are stumbling in their ways, who are not connected to Christ and his word. She tries to pull them back. And even those who we all at times are simple in our faith. But when she does that, she leads us to death. When we follow folly, when we follow evil, when we follow wickedness. The wisdom of the Lord is really contrasted to the folly of the evil one. Or, or truth, the truth of God's word and his will, or the lies of, of the adulterous woman. It is a comparison of, of Christ and the righteousness we have in him to the flesh, our sinful flesh, which leads us astray and leads us away from him. It is also can be seen as the summary of, of life. Wisdom is life. Folly, foolishness, wickedness is death. God wants us to live in his wisdom, to live in the wisdom of Christ, to live in the wisdom of his word and his spirit that he has revealed to us in his word. To be honest, that's what these chapters are about, living in the wisdom of Christ. And as we read the rest of the book of Proverbs, and we might pop in every now and then with a proverb or two as we go through these next few weeks, we'll see the importance of the truth that we have, the tr understanding the truth of wisdom being connected to Christ and his righteousness. I've really enjoyed these first nine chapters of Proverbs, and I'm looking forward to starting uh, Luke on Monday. I hope you'll be able to join us and, and go through it. I'm planning on these again being a little bit shorter than we have been at some times, trying to keep them around five minutes. So, uh, so it's not too much out of your time. I've had a, a few people say that they like to watch them all at one time during the week. Others that say that's what they do in the morning or at night. That is great. I'm excited to go through this book of Luke. Um, and, and understand and dig deeper into those truths that God has for us. We'll see you then. God bless.